how, how would you describe, you know, from your perspective, from your teammates' perspective, what, you know, since what's kind of gone on since February 8th and, and how you guys have handled this? Um, I think we handled it pretty well. Right now, you know, we just focus on Friday and uh, trying to attack the conference tournament. That's our main focus right now. We can't uh, dwell on anything in the past. So right now, our main focus is Friday night. And up next, Steve Lansdale. Yeah, Ferran, Tim was saying that uh, for a lot of the past month, you guys have gone into the gym individually without a coach, basically working on your own. How hard was it to focus and get hard, get good work in when you didn't really know when or if you'd have another game? Well, I don't think it was really hard because I work out every day. So that's like kind of like a – it's like I brush my teeth every day. So like working out is kind of like, you know, a normal uh, regimen for me. Like I just do that every day, like whether or not we got a game or a practice. Next question, Billy Embody. Hey, Bron, uh, how, how did you kind of stay in shape? Uh, I guess, I mean, you know, a lot of the guys I'm sure are used to running with each other and you know, going up and down and pick up or whatever, but how did you, you know, stay in shape during all this? Uh, I soul cycle. So, like, on Tuesdays and uh, Thursdays, I soul cycle every day at around about 6.30. So, that's how I get my cardio in uh, when I'm not running up and down the court. And if not, I'll just probably go and uh, just run or work out. I, you know, I don't really get out of shape like that because I'm working out every day. I, I try not to take a lot of days off. So, soul cycle would be how I maintain during this uh, COVID issues we have. Next question, Damon Sales. Hey, Farron. Uh, Coach Jack mentioned that you guys could be the biggest unknown in the tournament. And by by that, you know, you guys haven't played in a month, and that's okay. But uh, let me get your, your thoughts on that, man. You know, going into a tournament, you know, you guys haven't played in a month. A lot of teams out there uh, need to be reminded about SMU basketball. What are your thoughts about, you know, where you guys are and and, and the potential that you guys can can bring to this tournament? Uh, I think we're on a, you know, a good side of the bracket. We had a good, big game Friday against Cincinnati. Uh, we owe them from the game that we lost to them here. So looking forward to playing them again. Uh, and then, you know, I, right now, I mean, we are known, like a lot of people don't know us. Uh, I keep seeing that we're on the bubble. I don't know really pretty much know what all that means, but I'm just ready to uh, really play, you know. Uh, it's been a minute, probably about a month and a week. So I'm really ready to play and just lock in and, you know, focus on Friday. Next question back to Sam Blum. Uh, yeah, I know you mentioned that you've obviously been, you know, uh, cycling and, and staying in shape. How, when you guys are practicing now over the last week, how, how conditioned do you feel like this team is? Uh, and obviously, you know, knowing you need to go in and, and win three games. Uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, me, Kendra, and Darius McNeil, Eman, um, and Ethan. I think we're all at about nine or ten. Um, I know it's, and I think the rest of them. You know, some of them had different COVID protocols, so it's going to take them a little. They might be on a different scale than us, but I know like the, I think the first five, you know, should be in really good shape. Not saying that my other teammates won't be in shape, because uh, of course not everybody's not playing forty minutes, so. I think, you know, everybody's in good shape. And I think the team is, you know, if I had to rate the whole team, I would say probably a solid eight if we were going out of 10. But I'm at about a 10, so eight and a half. Next question, Steve Lansdale. Yeah, Ferran, with all that you and your team have been through not playing in a month, um, does the preparation change in terms of, how much you focus on Cincinnati and how much you're just focusing on yourselves and trying to get the timing back and get rid of the rust before the tournament starts. Uh, yeah, we've been, you know, playing 20 minute games uh, in practice. So we did that uh, yesterday. That was kind of good for us, you know, just to get uh, kind of a 20 minute atmosphere, you know, when the media comes. So I think, you know, that was pretty good for us yesterday. Um, like I said, man, uh, Friday, just, you know, it'll be good for us to get back out there and, you know, be able to play. So, I mean, I can't really, like I said, I can't really focus on, you know, what happened in the past and why we weren't able to play. I just got to focus on Friday, and, you know, and make sure we get that one because that's a very important key one for us. Up next, back to Damon Sales. 
Hey, Ferranda, one thing that I've always loved about you is your competitive nature, your competitive spirit. So I've got to ask you, going into a tournament like this, as a third-team All-AAC player, and I know you, you wanted to be that first-team guy, is this an opportunity for you personally to kind of uh, show that maybe the conference made a mistake in this uh, in this selection process? Uh, I mean, I don't really care about none of that, honestly. Like, I'm <laughs> glad that, you know, that's really not my goal. My goal is to, you know, get to March Madness and then do, you know, get to the next level. But right now, you know, the, those, are, those are my two goals individually. I mean, like, for me and as a team, like, that's my goal to get to the NCAA tournament. I could care whether or less or not that they said that I was in the top 15 of players in the league. Um, like I said, uh, since I got here, but you know what? Like right now, my main focus is Friday and getting that win and trying to get to March Madness. Uh, I could care less about the where they put me at with all third team or whatever that is about. I think Kendrick should have been player of the year, but you know, due to us not being able to play in the COVID games, you know, uh, that kind of screwed us up. But uh, congratulations to all the players that were named player of the year and everybody who, you know, got their accolades. Uh, I hope they're, you know, ecstatic. My main goal is to win Friday and get to March Madness. That's my goal right now. All right, and our last question for Ferran from Sam Blum. Yeah, real quick, you mentioned, you know, winning Friday, get to March Madness. Do you look at this like you need to win the tournament to get there? I mean, obviously that bubbles, like you said, confusing, but do you look at it like we need to win to get to, to the tournament? If we win three, we automatically get there. So if I said you run four suicides, you get a million dollars, or you run three and a half, I may get it to you. Which one are you gonna do? That's a question. Yeah, see, Herm, Herm muted me again. Um, I don't know, I didn't even hear the question. Go the first one. <laughs> you want me to ask him what question yeah. or did he not hear it? I don't think he heard it. Okay, so my question was to you, Sam. You asked me, do I think we need to win all three? So my question to you is, if I say you need to run four suicides and I give you a million dollars, or I need you to run three and a half and you may get it, which one are you going to do? Yeah, well, well, I guess I'll take the first one, but I still, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. <laughs> so that's, that's like a win all three and then we don't have to worry about all that. Going into this, uh, this, this next two days, as the, uh, the, the, the team leader, as the point guard of this team, what have you seen from your players and uh, just the roster in general? Oh, we just, we anxious to be back out there, man. I mean, we haven't played in so long. I feel like we were just practicing, practicing, practicing. I mean, now that it's game week, um, you can see a, a little sense of urgency. I think everybody playing hard knowing I mean, that we might not be in rhythm. I mean, uh, we ain't played in so long, but the sense of urgency, I mean, the effort, the attention to details, everything, we've been we've been locked in. Just, man, grateful to be playing again. Just, it's like when you get something took away from you, you realize how much you love it. So, I mean, we're just ready to play, man, and play hard and just have fun again. Up next, Sam Blum. Yeah, Kendrick, uh, you know, I'm curious, just kind of, you, you mentioned just what you just said right there about kind of having it taken away from you. How would you kind of just describe the, that last month and, you know, obviously thinking you're going to come back, having games canceled, thinking you're going to come back, having games canceled. What was what was that all like for you? Oh, man, it was kind of, for me personally, it was kind of rough because I wanted to win player of the year and I wanted to win, I thought we had a chance to, to get first or second. I really thought we had a chance to get first or second. Um, our tough slate for U of H Memphis was out the way. Uh, we had Wichita State left who ended up winning the conference. We had them twice. So I thought we can really do something. I thought we can really finish first, second, or even third. And um, we didn't get a chance to do that. But I thought me, for me also, just winning player of the year, I thought I had a real big chance at doing that and um, it came short, but I mean, that's something I can't control as out of our hands. So I was kind of disappointed in that. Next question, Steve Lansdale. Uh, Tim was saying that 
the Cincinnati game a month ago or whatever it was, was maybe the most disappointing to him, not because of the final score, but because of some of the shot selection in the final minutes. Did that one stick with you as well? And do you, do you go into Friday with any kind of different approach in terms of how to attack them late? Uh, yeah, that was disappointing. I mean, you never want to lose no game like that. Not, not one on your home floor anyways to anybody. So, I mean, yeah, that was that was a stinger. I mean, you, you want to protect home court and you want to win the games you're supposed to win because I think if we win that game, we were 8-3, 7-8-3, um, and, three, seven and, eight and three, I want to say. So, I mean, that's a huge difference. I mean, so you always want to win now. When it, uh, we didn't we didn't play with the – we didn't down the stretch play together enough to win that game. So, hopefully Friday we come out and keep the lead. I I think it was up 10, 11, or 12 at that point. Hopefully we keep that lead and just finish teams off, which sometimes we have the trouble. I don't know why sometimes we don't finish teams off how we're supposed to. But, I mean, hopefully Friday we go out there, have fun and compete and just let go and handle the rest. Up next, back to Damon Sales. Katie, there's a, a lot for you guys to digest, man. I mean, you just talked about – uh, you know, falling short of getting all uh, uh, well, ACC player of the year, AAC player of the year. Um, you guys have heard, you know, some of the negative feedback, and and I mean, when you look at all this going into this tournament, I mean, does all that that you hear, all that that you see, is that enough of bulletin board material for you guys to to to, to add uh, additional motivation? Of course, man. Of course, uh, for for the team wise, I think. Just, just we got a lot to play for. I mean, we're on a bubble. I think we win two games or win the whole tournament. We're a lot in the tournament. So, I mean, that itself is a lot to play for. I mean, that's that's huge. I feel like this conference don't get the respect it deserves. They trying to have one or two teams in there. And uh, it's just nonsense to have one or two teams. And now when you got us, U of H, Memphis, Wichita State, I think our net rankings is better than Wichita State's, and they won the league. So, yeah, we still got a lot to play for as a team. Um, just trying to get to the NCAA tournament, you know, once you get that, anything can happen. So we always feel like we're one of the most talented teams in the country. I don't think that we never thought we was not one of the most talented teams in the country. It's just about showing it once you get there. And for me personally, I want to be able to – I mean, seeing me not play of the year – was enough motivation. I think, honestly, I think I'm the best player in this league. I done had U of H coach, Memphis coaches, uh, all man, every coach in the league tell me I am the best player in this league. So for me not getting player of the year, I, that's enough motivation for me. Next question, Billy Embody. Hey, Kendrick, uh, you're in a pretty elite group uh, with first team guys. Uh, at SMU, Semi Ojale and Nick Moore. Can you talk about what that means to be in that group of guys? I mean, I know obviously you would have wanted the player of the year, but uh, that's pretty uh, pretty uh, good company. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. That's pretty good company. If you think of Shimmy, uh, who's playing for the Celtics, I mean, that's my dream getting to the NBA. So being mentioned in any name with them guys who, who was legends here, who named you here, and everybody got stuff good to say about him. So being mentioned with them guys, man, that's a blessing. Hopefully one day I can play in the NBA just like them. So anytime I be able to get in company with Nick, Shay, Shimmy, any one of them, I'm, I'm always blessed. Next question, Sam Blum. I'm curious, just in terms of you know your 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 whole team's conditioning. I think Ferran said you guys are like at an eight or eight point five out of ten. I'm not sure who's who's there, who's not there, and all that. But how, how would you kind of just describe the way you guys have been able to get ready and 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 how ready you guys feel? Honestly, that's a tough question because you know you can run sprints all day, and when you get in the game, it'd be totally different. So. Uh, I would like to say we getting ready for game speed, but we haven't played in so long. So you just, you never know. I know we finally started doing five on five or uh, four, I want to say three, four days ago and um, kind of feeling, getting our legs back underneath us. So 
we got still two, three more days to practice. So hopefully we, we get our legs back under us. But I know right now we still getting guys that still getting in shape and we got some that's ahead of some. So, I mean, you never know until you get out on the court. And up next, Steve Lansdale. And just to follow up on Sam's question, you've been going five on five for a few days and you described it as getting your legs back under you. Um, but do you even allow yourself to think about if you're fortunate enough to win, you theoretically, you could be playing three games in three days and, and how you guys will be able to get through that? I mean, yeah, you want to think about it because you got injuries coming to play. You got fatigue, you got cramps, you got all of the, all that nature. And uh, you think about it. I mean, you want to be, you want to be healthy as you can. So with three games in three days, it's going to be tough. But I mean, we're not here to make no excuses. We come to play. Uh, we 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 grateful that we get to play again. I mean, even if we're not at full strength, even if we haven't had the games that other teams had, the practices other teams had. I mean, we're not here to make excuses. We want to have fun and compete. And um, if we blessed to win three in three days, then hey, we beat the adversity. We beat the odds. And um, you thank God for that one and Coach Jank for keeping us ready. And, just keeping us mentally ready because I mean a lot of us was kind of oh we about to play this week we about to play this week then the game get canceled then we about to play next week then the game get canceled so I mean we was all hyped to play Wichita State we seen they just beat U of H it was a chance for us to kind of solid ourselves so I mean we we're not here to make excuses I mean it's gonna be some maybe some, hope not but maybe some sloppy play but if there is then you guys know the, the, the problem with that, but we're not here to make excuses. We're trying to win the whole thing. And one more for Steve Lansdale. Now you mentioned Coach Jankovic keeping you guys together and ready, but he's been through an awful lot personally as well, getting the virus, being away from the team. What have, what have you and your teammates thought and, and just your impressions of him getting through his own physical challenges and still – uh, like you said, keeping you guys together, d doing his job from a distance. Uh, one one thing I can say about Jake, man, since the day I met Coach, he always had the best intentions I ever seen for a head coach. Uh, for me personally, I can speak for me personally, man. When I found out he had COVID, I told I think I told Sam, man, it hurt. It touched me. I mean, we talked every day. It touched me, and um. Jank, one of the most honest, unique coaches I ever played for. I think him and my high school coach, Coach Perez, they're one of the most caring, selfish persons ever. I mean, y'all wouldn't understand, but Coach, man, just he's someone I can trust on and off the court. So, I mean, when I seen him go through that, it was kind of like an eye opener for me personally because at his age, anything can happen which he was lucky enough to fight through it and beat it. But I mean, he been through a lot. The team been through a lot with players getting it also. So, I mean, we just, we just grateful that everybody have not had no heart conditions or anything else that come from it. So, I mean, we're just grateful and we just ready to have fun and stay healthy as possible. 